guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosalie here hope you're all keeping well uh for this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to use caden live open source video editor for creating youtube shorts now youtube shorts i have to be honest i'm not a huge fan of them myself or vertical video personally but of course if you're doing professional videography work for clients whatever they get to decide um, how the video what aspect ratio the video should use how it should be distributed etc so there's actually this nice little guide up here on youtube uh, help section regarding how you can create shorts from a desktop from a computer you just need to click in the computer tab but let me let me give you the rundown of it so basically it starts off like a normal video upload process you go into youtube studio you uh, go and create upload videos but you've got two essential requirements that are not uh, usual. Firstly, the runtime needs to be 60 seconds or less. Secondly, the video needs to have either a square or a vertical aspect ratio. Now, you can also include the optional hashtag short to, you know, help YouTube know it's a short, but that's not uh, mandatory. Now, what I'm going to do here is I just uploaded a bunch of uh, random clips to my um library here in caden live and i'm going to show you guys how you can change over to a youtube short friendly uh project setting so what you need to do is click into project then click into project settings and you're gonna have here two um this is all the project settings that are baked into caden live right i didn't i didn't create these you've got your full hd projects your ultra hd 4k and these are detected when you when you import a bunch of clips as i just did usually caden live will say these look to me like 25 frames per second clips um and they're 1080p are we okay to set this as the project ratio now if you don't know what setting you've gone for you kind of clicked okay without paying attention you can also you can click into click properties and see what you're dealing with in your bin assuming that these are going to be all the same so as you can see for me i'm using a frame rate of 25 fps on this particular uh this particular project they're all the same so project project settings and then at the bottom under custom is where you're going to find the vertical video ones that are baked into the system they're vertical hd now I created a custom uh, setting here at 25 FPS because there's only 30 and 60 by default. And you've also got two square profiles, 1080p, 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. And square is one to one. So the pixel aspect ratio is just called one. Now I, as I say, uh, duplicated the 30 FPS uh, setting. And for vertical video, the default one in Caden Live is nine to 16. So nine to 16 aspect ratio is of course 16 to nine turned on its head with uh, nine across and 16 up. Um, so it's the most common vertical video resolution. Of course, there are other ones, but if you uh, select this as your project, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna select 25 frames per second. Now, if you need, if, if you want to do 4K vertical video, it's totally possible. You would just need to edit the profile and create a new one for a 4K UHD 30 FPS by simply changing the pixel uh, amount and changing the aspect ratio. But I'm going to stick with this. Now, one word of warning is that this can crash Caden Live. Caden Live is sometimes buggy. I will not be at all surprised if my system crashes after I click continue because it's going to have to redo all those proxy clips. Ah, so far so good. That was actually more successful. But you can see the proxy clips are regenerating here as we speak and uh, we're fairly successful. So now, as you can see, the uh, preview pane is vertical video and if i drop in a clip it doesn't look great because we have a 16 to 9 clip here on the backdrop of 9 to 6 but you know you can figure out a way around that or you can also do square video and of course the second requirement being that you're going to have to keep your timeline to under 60 seconds export and you can upload with hashtag short to make that better so obviously this is only the start of the process if you didn't shoot the clips in vertical video, you're going to have to figure out how to make them not look terrible. Uh, but that can be done with uh, backgrounds or uh, the transform feature as well is very useful because you can just kind of uh, zoom in on a bit and fill it up. In fact, I can show you guys what I'm talking about. If you click into transform, one sort of workaround for this vertical video 
situation would be uh, scaling out the uh, the preview window here in order to use up you can see what I'm talking about stuff like this anyway that's kind of more detail than I wanted to get into in this video that's the essentials of setting up Caden live for producing a YouTube short for YouTube hope this was useful thank you guys for watching